Well, good morning, Quirky Birders. It's Lynn here, and welcome to episode one of your daily art challenge. So, I'm responding to a request. Um, I had a request to do something just that little bit more masculine, so I thought I would do a he shed. So, I've drawn out the basic design. And the line drawing um, was available to you all in a post that I put up yesterday. Um, this is just the basic design. You can embellish it however you wish. Um, if you wanted to add in some different accessories around the little shed, then you can also do that. Um, but I've just done the basic um, design um, here. So if you're new to the Daily Art Challenge, you will know that this is a series of five little videos that will be going up during the course of the week. And the end result being this lovely picture once it's all, it's all finished. So today we're just going to make um, a start. And one of the first things that we're going to do is we're just going to deal with the, the lovely sky um, that's behind um, our little shed. So I'm just going to wet my brush and I'm just using um, my normal size five little round headed brush. And then all I'm going to do is just apply just the water to my paper. So I just want to be careful sort of going around the telegraph pole and around the little trees. And this is just going to create just that lovely wash um, and allows us to work using the blue of the sky wet on wet. And if you're new, then that means that it's wet paint going on to wet paper. And that will just create that lovely soft wash. So just take some time and just make sure you don't want that paper saturated but you do want it to be wet and then I'm just going to put a little bit around the the base of the trees where we all see the sky peeking through Okay, so now we can apply some colour to our sky. And I've got a mixture here of a little bit of grey with a little bit of blue, just so you've got a nice sort of, a bit of a moody sky really. So just apply the paint. that background and because we've used the water then the paint will go where the water is Carry on working that sky all the way along. Got a nice dark grey, sort of stormy sky. Do a nice blue one if you wanted to, but I quite like the uh, the darker colours. So I'm just going to put a little bit behind these trees. I'm 
and then we just want a little bit just in between these little tree trunks here like so now if you wanted to add some little clouds to your sky what you can do is just scrunch up a little bit of kitchen paper so you've just got it screwed up like that and then you can just literally just scrub along where you've just applied that paint and that just gives you that little bit of a different texture and just gives you that lovely light soft impression of some little clouds so you've just got a very very soft lovely texture to that sky now I'm quite happy with that so I'm going to let that just dry and then in the meantime what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of the base wash along this grass here and I'm also going to put a little bit of the base wash here on the actual drive so for that, I'm going to use a little bit of green. But then the green that I've got, I'm actually going to add in a little bit of sort of a brown. Just so it goes that lovely sort of muted, sort of muddy type colour. And again we're going to be working wet on wet so I've just got a little bit of paint still on my on my brush but this is just water at the moment so you're just going to bring that driveway down towards you just wet all of that area and to be honest it doesn't need a lot more colour but we'll just put a little bit on we won't put too much on we'll just manipulate that paint so it's a little bit darker at the edges Again on this side. And then we'll push a little bit over just to that one edge where we've got the um, the little fence line I'm quite happy with that and then what we can do using the same colour that we've just mixed so I'm using the green that's been mixed with the brown we can just work wet on dry and we'll just put in a base a base colour of the grass that's going to be along this one side here so just be careful that it doesn't bleed into the little wash that you've done on the driveway and like I say this is just the base colour so we will be building tone of colour as we go and then we're just going to put a little bit more of the colour 
around the base of the little shed. We'll just make that just a little bit darker. And then the final little bit that we need to do this morning is we just need to put in the same green just behind um, this little fence line here. But I am just going to change that tone ever so slightly and just put a little bit of the darker green into the mix. And again, we're still working wet on dry. So I'm just going to put that colour just behind this fence. Again, just being careful with regards to that sky. I don't really want the green to bleed into the lovely grey of the sky. Just going around the little fence posts. If you feel that that's just too dark then just dry your brush off and again you can just scoop up some of that excess paint just to knock that back colour wise. on along here again just being very very careful with regards to the the lines of the fence Okay, so that's it for today um, with regards to just putting a little bit of the base colour down. So we've worked and done our lovely little wash on the sky. We've also put in a base colour of the green of the, um, of the grassy areas at the front of our, um, our little shed. And then tomorrow what we will do is we will come back and we will start to work by putting in some of the, the base colour onto the actual shed itself. So I'm around if you need me. If you have any questions at all, then please do not hesitate to ask and I shall see you all again tomorrow.
Goodbye.